Neither Northamptonshire nor Surrey could get one over the other, really, on the penultimate day of their rain-ruined LV County Championship match at Wantage Road. Only 28 overs were possible on the first two days. Northamptonshire started in the third on 107 for two in their first innings. Indeed, the first innings of the match. They had made those runs at a good rate in trying to make up for all of the lost time. And Rob Newton, who resumed his innings on 28, was soon looking good again on the third morning. It took him to the 10th over of the session to reach his 50, one which came off only 67 balls. He'd found the boundary nine times from those and he would have been hopeful of developing his partnership with Stephen Peters for a while longer yet. Instead, Peters leant back on a cut and edged a wide ball from Tom Curran behind to go for 82 after he'd added 18 runs to his tally on this particular day. He left with his team on 148 for three. There were thoughts amongst supporters at least that this game could end up being a one innings per side contest. If that was going to be the case, the home team needed to bat for some while yet. They would have been pleased to see Rob Keogh make another promising start to an innings this year. Keogh has already hit 200s this season, while Newton, for whom this was a third half century of the campaign, was at his best score of the season to date and looking in good enough touch that a 100 of his own was by no means a shot in the dark. He'd taken the total to 213 when he lost Kyogre for 29, undone by a ball from Curran, which both nipped back and kept a little low. Newton remained and moved into the 90s with his 14th four. But with only five more needed for his 100, he edged this ball from Curran behind and had to leave with his side on 238 for five. Northamptonshire consistently score bags of runs from their lower order, so a large total was still on the cards, especially with Adam Rossington moving through the numbers quickly with shots like this that went for six. The former Middlesex man needed 48 runs from this innings to record his first thousand overall in the first class game. He was making good progress towards that figure. He lost Josh Cobb at the other end as he struck Zafar and Sari to Gareth Batty, and it was the start of a collapse as for once the lower order all failed. David Willey was out for a golden duck, playing down the wrong line to Ansari, who'd now reduced Northamptonshire to 288 for seven. One run later, and Stephen Crook was also on his way for a duck, top edging a sweep, which found Stephen Davis hovering in the deep. A better controlled sweep shot then brought Rossington the 850 or more of his career. He needed 68 balls for this one, reaching it with his fifth four to go with that earlier six. He also had his side into the 300s, a third batting bonus point accrued in plenty of time, even though too many wickets had fallen in quick time to make sure that this was not going to be a one innings each contest after all. Batty's decision to ignore the second new ball worked well. He bowled Ollie Stone for seven. And after Rossington had driven and sorry down the ground for his second maximum, a huge hit which threatened the windows in the top tier of the pavilion. The spinner grabbed his third wicket as Rossington, now on 58, badly mishit a shorter ball which the bowler clung on to. Northamptonshire in the end had to settle for a total of 309, having been 213 for three at one point. So it was already difficult to see how we were going to get a result from here unless Surrey dramatically collapsed or they were to race past their opponents, playing in a similar manner to the way they dealt with Leicestershire last week. Neither of those things happened, as Rory Burns and Ansari made steady progress through the first 22 overs of their reply, both batsmen getting into the 30s, and with some help from some sundries, 89 runs were on the board before the two left-handers were separated. It took a bit of athleticism from Rossington to do that. He sprinted away to grab a catch off a gloved pull from Ansari, who was on his way for 39. Azarulla got that wicket and he soon had another, trapping Burns in front for 34 at 95 for two. Willie then found the edge of Dominic Sibley's bat, the youngster ending his first innings of the summer on three. It left two men in fine form to see out the day, Kumar Sangakara easing to 28, while Davis simply appeared to pick up from that crazy 57 ball ton he struck in the win over Leicestershire as he moves speedily to a 33-ball 30 on this occasion, these two talents adding 47 runs in 10 overs before stumps were drawn. 
quite what can be achieved on the last day is anyone's guess. Surrey will begin it on 155 for three, which has them 154 runs behind. The most likely thing is a race for bonus points, which could still have Northamptonshire in the promotion places if Gloucestershire slip up at home to Kent.